swimming practice. That is just what I needed. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think I need to go in now. How is it, Riley? Pretty icy. <laughs> very refreshing. Yeah. Welcome to the next vlog. We've started going west um, to head towards the Northern Territory. We're parked up at a beautiful spot here with our friend Riley. He's going to be joining us uh, on our travels now. Um, and yeah, today we're going to go to some hot spring, pick out some more um, Aboriginal art sites. Um, but yeah, we're really excited to show you guys our journey as we head towards the Northern Territory um, and to Uluru. First stop is in at Hot Springs, which would be pretty cool to check out. Riley's been here before, but they're meant to be um, a hot springs that you dig your own little hole and you get to just sit in um, this beautiful, like hot, natural hot water bath. Are you excited? It does. Oh yeah. Oh wow! That's <laughs> so hot! I can't move anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's just scalding hot. I reckon you should go up there. Yeah. Oh my god, it's getting hot. Yeah, we did it! Just as you get it's it comfy. Yeah. yeah, this watch out it's for here. Over here. Yeah. This like whole half section. Perfect. My feet are like so Yeah. It's like a shower and stuff. Is it this one that could do this? Yeah. tires and we're applying sunscreen because the sun is hot here. Oh yeah, this is Australia. <laughs> <laughs> the rock.
You're joking. You're joking. Did you get that? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking either, but I got it on video. That's a big one. Well, yeah, I'd say that that's the one I saw yesterday. Like, it was a very similar size and same sort of spot. Morning coffee on. So where are we going today, Taz? Straight to Thornhill Gorge. Woohoo! Um, apparently there's a cool swimming spot, but I don't think we're going to be swimming. <laughs> um, because Riley showed us a article that he saw earlier, I think this year, of a guy <coughs> wrestling a crocodile off him in the waterfall. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about <laughs> swimming happening, but it's going to be really nice. Mm. So normally you can swim with um, freshwater crocodiles, um, salties are more the ones that you have to worry about, but um, yeah, the, it was like earlier this year there was a um, freshwater crocodile attack at the falls at this national park. Um, apparently the guy jumped in like near the falls, which is where the crocodiles kind of hung out. Um, and yeah, good attack. So you can, I think, still swim in other parts of the national park. Um, we're kind of deciding <laughs> whether we will swim or not. We're going to wait until we get there um, and see. But yeah, Lawn Hill Gorge is meant to be really spectacular. It's one of the most um, well-renowned national parks in Australia. Um, so yeah, and it's very, very remote. So I'm very excited to get there. But yeah, tonight we've been camped up here in an area called Gregory Downs over like that way further here's a river we haven't actually checked out the river um, yeah it's meant to be quite nice but yeah Taz is on washing up duty Riley I think is doing some journaling in his journal and I'm on coffee duties Has also got super lucky yesterday and found um, what we think is an eagle feather, which looks so cool. Um, he also found some bones, which is really cool too. So we're thinking maybe it might be from a wallaby. Um, there's a lot of wallabies that get killed out here. Um, so yeah, we've got a growing collection of things. Uh, up here in our dash, another feather I found the other day. But yeah, and all of this was found after we saw the two crocodiles. Um, so very eventful, <clears throat> probably 10, 15 minutes.
bit scared of the um, fact that there could be crocodiles around, or there are crocodiles around. We were um, feeling pretty confident because we saw a bunch of people there, so the odds were with us, but um, yeah, the water was insanely blue and very refreshing, and now we are back on the road driving to our campsite, which is like just uh, under an hour away from Lawn Hill. So, yeah, that would be, um, be good to be able to come back tomorrow and do another hike, I think. And yeah, just enjoy this nice view of um, the Queensland outback. It's a little disappointing because we got there and, yeah, it must have been due to a storm or something. But um, part of, like, half of the walking tracks you can't actually access because um, the bridge that you use to get across the um, gorge to go is down. Some that we we're planning on doing today. So there was an um, one called I think the Dreamtime walk, and it had some um, indigenous artwork and things there. So it would have been really nice to do that one, but um, we were saying it's kind of a positive too because there's so many walks and things that you can do there. So at least this is kind of narrowed it down for us, and we haven't had to pick and choose tomorrow. And yeah, with all the the hiking that we got done today, we've only got one hike left that we can do tomorrow so that'll be an awesome I think it's about three hours and they recommend doing it for sunrise or sunset because you get to see um, the changing color of the um, I think it's limestone rocks of the gorge so yeah, very excited to do that one <laughs> I thought you can just you know, you can read it out dry something is that it's not good to run it completely dry. Yeah. You don't. Ooh. <gasps> it's very yum though. Eh? <gasps> the colours look so pretty. Wow. <laughs> this is how you shower in the outback. Riley's had much more success than we have um, with his camping shower. I think we need one of those. Enjoy your shower. Good morning. Um, it's wow. like four o'clock in the morning right now. Nice and dark outside. And um, we are going to go and do a sunrise hike um, up Constance Range. Yeah, That's up Constance called. Range at uh, Lawn Hill Gorge. So that'd be really nice, and uh, hopefully, it's a really good sunrise. All right, just got to Lawn Hill Gorge. It is very dark outside. As you can see, it's pitch black. Let's go do this sunrise hike, eh? Oh, Good. looks like we're in for a treat.
was the sunrise like? Worth it? Really good. Yeah. It's beautiful. Not from very tired later though. Yeah. But for now. For now. We are enjoying this. Beautiful view. And excited for the afternoon. So what do you reckon, Taz? One of the best sunrises that you've ever seen? Nah, it's <laughs> nah. Uh, Great sunrise. Great, great sunrise. Probably one of the best sunrise spots I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. What about you, Riley? <laughs> divine. Divine sunrise. So yesterday we did all the way down here and then back and then this morning for sunrise we did this one and then these are the ones that we can't get to because the bridge um, access is down. How are those flies going Tess? just as annoying but slightly better if I can uh, get it just to sit off my face um, but these flies are loving me apparently and there's so many as much as uh, they love me even with the oh, wind they're still yeah. they're very attracted uh -huh. to Taz Take two on the shower. Work. How's it going, Taz? Very good. Is it warm? No. No. <laughs> it's good. What's the time? It's like maybe eight o'clock in the morning. No, it's like nine thirty. Oh. Well off. Nine thirty. Oh no. Not now. <laughs> So yeah, it's meant to heat up throughout the day being black. Oh, so morning shower, probably not very hot. I'm hoping I can have a shower tonight. I'll let it, if we fill up water, I can let it heat up. You got a few minutes out of it. Well, there you go. I'd say that that's a, that's a pass. Yeah, definitely a pass. A pass, it's not a fail, but well, not a great success. So learning Improvement. Learning improvement. Well, he's going for his first river crossing. He's killing it. for Riley. Two wheel drive doing pretty well on the four wheel drive road. So today we're off and we're leaving Lawn Hill Gorge and heading to a town called Camel Wheel. I think that's how you pronounce it but still 
pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Um, long drives between towns where running very low on water at the moment. Um, so it'll be good to get to a town so that we can fill up some water. And then, yeah, tomorrow we're crossing the border into Northern Territory, which is so exciting. Like, I, yeah, we've somehow made it here so quickly. It feels like, um, yeah, we've tracked across the whole of Queensland in just relatively no time at all. So very exciting. Utah's swimming a lot but today get to test out our actual shower again I just tested the water and it feels really nice and warm um, and we filled it up for ages so hopefully Paul is gonna go to plan update for everybody I had a shower and it worked perfectly we got to wash my hair and now Riley is heating up his water and he's gonna use our little shower curtain to have a shower too but pretty nice colors happening over here behind the shower so good view to shower with but I would say third time definitely the charm we've definitely cracked the outdoor showers I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do it hey